This video outlines the fit testing process for the CleanSpace Halo Powered Air Purifying Respirator, or PAPA, with half mask. In this video, we'll be using a TSI port account fit tester device. However, the same steps can be used if using an AccuFit. Health workers should not use the PAPA unless they have been previously fitted for the correct mask size, neck support and harness settings by an accredited trainer. This equipment needs to be available for the fit test. They should also receive training in donning and doffing appropriate personal protective equipment, also known as PPE, and be deemed competent by an accredited trainer. Each facility will have its own guidelines for the kinds of PPE that should be worn with the PAPA. Also required are a fully charged power unit, the clean space half mask adapter, an alcohol based hand rub and cleaning wipes. The TSI port account is set up as per standard procedures. Refer to the CEC fit test video series, overview fit testing of P2 or N95 respirators, fit test preparation and setup. Perform the daily check. You do not click the N95 switch for this test. For a positive pressure fit test, the particle concentration must be around 3,000 particles per cubic centimetre. If this is the first time you have used the port account software for a halo half mask, you'll need to set up the following. From the three bar drop down menu, choose respirator. Click new. Under manufacturer, enter clean space. Under model, enter halo. Under style, Enter reusable half face mask. Under pass level, enter 100. Do not activate the N95 button. When health worker arrives for the fit test, briefly outline the fit test process to the health worker. Check the following with the health worker, that they have completed a clean space mask fit check session and have been trained to don and doff the clean space halo. That the clean space halo half mask is the correct size as identified during their fit check. That the correct neck support is attached to the power unit as identified during their fit check. And finally, that they are clean shaven and have not eaten, drunk or smoked 30 minutes prior to the test. Fit tester to perform hand hygiene. Remove the exhalation valve from the front of the mask by pushing from the inside out. Check that the silicon leaf is not folded. If it is folded, twist the conical piece until the leaf sits flat in the exhalation valve. Now insert the clean space adapter as shown here. Turn the adapter so the probe is facing down. Place the plastic exhalation valve over the front of the adapter. Connect the sample line of the twin tube assembly to the clean space adapter probe. Ensure the power unit is in standby mode. The manufacturer's instructions during the COVID-19 pandemic are to do the fit test with the power on.
Health worker to perform hand hygiene. Ask the health worker to assemble and don the halo. Adjust to ensure a good fit. Have the health worker wear the papa for five minutes to establish fit, comfort and purge any residual particles within the papa seal. At this time, you can enter the health worker's details into the program and assign the fit test. From the three bar drop down menu, choose port account option. Enter the health worker's details and click Save. You'll be directed to a list of health worker names. Find and highlight the person you are fit testing. On the right hand side of the screen, select Protocol. OSHA Fast FFR Protocol. Select Respirator Model Clean Space Halo Reusable Half Mask. Select respirator size according to the mask the health worker is wearing. Now click Assign. From the three dot drop down menu, select the real time fit check option. And then select the real time graph. Explain to the health worker the benefit of a real time fit check is to guide the health worker with respirator adjustments and their fit check skill. If the real-time fit check graph demonstrates a good seal, the fit factor line will sit at 100 or above on the graph. The halo papa with the power on will normally have a fit factor in the thousands and above. Ask the health worker to move their head around and to talk to ensure a good seal. To proceed with fit testing, access the sub-menu and select the fit test option. The screen will open on the fit test page. Explain to the health worker they will have to perform four exercises to simulate normal workplace movements. Remind the health worker not to talk unless instructed or laugh during the tests. The health worker will need to hold the twin tube assembly during the fit test. Always ask the health worker if they have any questions before starting the fit test. Use the Fit Test Assessor Guide and direct the health worker through each exercise. Select Start to begin the fit test. Follow the prompts for the four exercises. All exercises are the same as for the N95 respirator. If the overall fit factor result is equal to or greater than 100, the fit test assessment will achieve a pass. If the PAPA seal leaks during any of the exercises, the affected exercise may fail. A failed exercise will show up in red on the screen. Depending on the fit factor reading for each individual exercise, the overall fit test assessment may still result in a pass. If the fit test result is below 100, the screen will show a fail. Analyse the test results and reassess the PAPA's fit. If the fit test passes, finish the fit test. If the test is negative, retest at another time or follow local guidelines for failed fit tests. Ask the health worker to doff the halo. Refer to the Clinical Excellence Commission's other resources on donning and doffing the clean space halo. Perform hand hygiene. Don a pair of gloves to remove the clean space adapter. Remove sample tubing from the adapter probe. Music 
Now remove the exhalation valve and remove the adapter from the front of the half mask. Clean the exhalation valve and reinsert. Clean and disinfect the adapter using a dual-purpose therapeutic goods administration and manufacturer approved cleaning disinfecting agent. You can also use a detergent solution or wipe to clean the adapter and then disinfect it with a TGA and manufacturer approved disinfectant. Then allow to dry on a clean, dry surface. Follow local procedures for cleaning, disinfection and storage of other halo components. Perform hand hygiene. The port account is cleaned and packed away as per standard procedures. Refer to the fit testing video series, cleaning and storage of fit test equipment.